Video Games Recon. Hello and welcome. My name is Nate from Video Games Recon, and in this series of videos, I will be discussing all of the weapons from Call of Duty Ghosts, giving my opinion on the weapon in question and its characteristics. Keep in mind that this video will probably be released before any patches, so the guns may change somewhat by the time you watch this video. And as an FYI, this series was filmed before I had prestiged and thus obviously didn't have all the weapons available to compare. So most of the footage in this series will feature bots. Also all weapons in this series will have like for like attachments where possible to try and make the comparison fair. Anywho, enough of my jibber jabber and without any further ado, let's do it to it. This is a very powerful weapon with the highest damage stat of all the LMGs and aside from that it has great range and accuracy for its class making it a solid and fairly well balanced gun with medium recoil which is good for medium to long range battles. The only thing that really drags this weapon down is the so so recoil reduction which can be a problem at range as well as the slow rate of fire. Nevertheless it's still a good and solid LMG. The M27 IAR is probably the best light machine gun for picking out targets at long range, due to its great accuracy, range, recoil reduction and good damage, and in general it does a similar job to that of the assault rifle version of the M27 from Black Ops 2, as both are nicely balanced and have low recoil characteristics, making them very stable for picking out targets at range and giving a good rate of fire which can help you out at close range. The LSAT, although not completely different, feels quite dissimilar to previous incarnations from Call of Duty, with its great accuracy, good range, low damage and high fire rate, which on paper looks quite unbalanced, but to me this weapon feels like the most balanced and accessible weapon in its class, which is due in no small part to its very low recoil and decent fire rate, which can really help you pick out targets both close and long range. This weapon is called the Chainsaw and it comes with an integrated laser sight which is actually helpful on this gun and why this is the case will be made clear in a minute. All in all this weapon is a bit of a gimmick and rarely has a purpose due to the fact that you can't aim down sights, hence the laser sight making this weapon kind of feel like a nerfed death machine. And even though the chainsaw is bags of fun and can be equipped with a noob tube, which is a beastly proposition in itself, as well as having a high rate of fire and an increased mobility compared to other LMGs. However, with that being said, these things still struggle to make up for its lack of flexibility. And thus, it can be hard to justify this gun's worth in all but the rarest of game modes and circumstances. So that's my thoughts and analysis of the LMG category. I'm not quite sure where the LMGs will sit in the big picture of this game so far. They're most definitely nowhere near as powerful as the LMGs in Black Ops 2, within which many would probably say that the LMGs were overpowered. However, that definitely isn't the case in Ghosts, which is both a positive and a negative, as the assault rifles in this game seem to take most, if not all, the limelight at the moment. Also, in Modern Warfare 3 I never really bothered with the LMGs, as there always seem to be better guns in different categories to choose from, so the LMGs never really got a look in. As to whether or not this will be the case with Call of Duty Ghosts or not, I guess only time will tell. Anyway, it's that time again to choose my favourite and least favourite weapons in this category. So, the best LMG in my opinion isn't probably the most obvious as the Emili and M27 are more balanced weapons on paper and both have some really great qualities. 
but with that being said, my favourite LMG is the LSAT, as the recoil reduction on this weapon is great, which really helps you take down enemies at range. And all of the LMG's movements are slow, and they all have considerable damage at close range, which can help you if caught short, so that factor is the same for all weapons. And as for the worst or my least favourite LMG, I'm going to have to go with the chainsaw. Even though this gun increases your speed and movement compared to the other LMGs and is a lot of fun to play with, but the fact that you can't ADS really impedes the use of this gun. And even though that's the point, it struggles to make the chainsaw any use in all but very specific instances. So, that was my opinion on the weapons in Call of Duty Ghosts. Feel free to leave your thoughts on the guns featured in this video in the comments section below. And if you enjoyed this video, please support us by liking, sharing and subscribing for more BS of a similar nature. Thank you and goodbye.